morning brief three, we will start trigonometry and geometry. Unit four, lesson one, the main trigonometrical ratios of the acute angle. At first, what is the meaning of trigonometry? Trigonometry is one of mathematical branches and it concerned studying the relation between sides, angles of the triangle. And there are trigonometrical ratios of the acute angle sine, cosine, and tan. At first, the units of measuring angle. The units of measuring angle. Degree, minute, and seconds. Two dashes. Three units of measuring angle. Degree, minute, and second. One degree equals 60 minutes. One minute equals 60 seconds. One degree equals 60 times 60 equals 3,600 seconds. One degree equals 60 minutes. One minute equal 60 seconds. Do you understand the three units of measuring angle? Okay. The three gonometrical ratios of the acute angle. Again, the three gonometrical ratios of the acute angle. What is the meaning of three gonometrical ratios of the acute angle? It is the ratio between two side lengths of the right angle, the triangle, that contains this angle. Again, it is the ratio between two side lengths of the right angle, the triangle, that contains this angle. At first, triangle ABC is right angle, the triangle at B, 90 degree find three three gonometrical ratios of a sine a cosine a tan a what is the meaning of sine of angle sine of angle is the ratio between opposite side length over hypotenuse side length again sine of this angle sine a sine b equal the ratio between opposite side over hypotenuse side. In the right angle, the triangle, right angle at B, B equals 90 degree, and angle A and angle C. Angle A, line segment to CA called hypotenuse. The line segment opposite the right angle. Okay. Line segment BA called adjacent of this angle A. And line segment CB the opposite of this angle. Okay, again, angle A. In the right angle, the triangle at B. There are opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. Hypotenuse side length, the line segment that opposite right angle. Angle A, the opposite length of this angle, CB, line segment CB, and adjacent of this angle is line segment BA. Then, sine angle A equal the ratio between opposite side length over hypotenuse side length. Opposite of angle A, BC, the length of line segment BC over hypotenuse, the length of line segment CA. Okay? Number two, cosine A. Cosine A equal the ratio between adjacent side length over hypotenuse side length. Adjacent of angle A, line segment BA, then the length of line segment AB or BA over the length of hypotenuse CA or AC, then cosine A equals AB over AC. 
so in A equals B C over A C. 10 A. 10 A equal the ratio between opposite side lengths over adjacent side lengths. Opposite side lengths over adjacent side lengths. Angle A. Opposite over adjacent. Opposite BC, the length of line segment BC over adjacent, the length of line segment AB. Then 10A equals BC over AB. If triangle ABC is a right angled triangle at B, right angled triangle at B, measure of angle B equals 90 degree. Then find sine C, cosine C, tan C. Where is angle C? Angle C is here. Side length is called opposite, and this sign called the hypotenuse, and this sign called the adjacent. Adjacent of this angle, opposite of this angle, and the hypotenuse, the line segment that opposite right angle. At first, sine C equal the ratio between opposite side length over hypotenuse. Opposite of this angle C, line segment AB over side length of hypotenuse equal CA. Then, sine C equals AB over AC. Cosine C. Cosine C equals the ratio between adjacent over hypotenuse side length. Adjacent of, of angle C, line segment BC over hypotenuse AC or CA. Tan C equals the ratio between opposite over adjacent. Opposite of this angle over adjacent of this angle. Opposite of this angle, line segment AB. Then the length of line segment AB over the length of line segment BC. For example, in the opposite figure, if triangle ABC is right angle the triangle at B, AB equals 3 cm. This means the length of line segment AB equals 3 cm. BC equals 4 cm. This means the length of line segment BC equals 4 cm and AC equals 5 cm. This means the length of line segment AC equals 5 cm. Then, sign A. Sign A. Where is angle A? Angle A is here. Where is the opposite and the adjacent? Adjacent AB. 3 cm and the opposite BC 4 cm and AC called hypotenuse. Number one, sine A. Sine A equals opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse 4 over 5. Cosine A. Cosine A equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent of this angle, 3 over 5. And 10 A. 10 A equal the ratio between opposite over adjacent. Opposite, 4 over 3. Do you understand how to find sine A, cosine A, and 10 A? Okay, find sine C, cosine C, 10 C. Where is angle C? Angle C is here. It is called hypotenuse. It is called opposite. And it is called adjacent of this angle C. Sine C equals what? Sine C equals opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite equals 3 over 5. Cosine C, cosine C equals adjacent over hypotenuse, adjacent of this angle, 4 over 5. Tan C, 
tan t equals opposite over adjacent of this angle opposite 3 over 4 adjacent do you understand okay we can deduce that the sine of any angle equals the cosine of its complementary angle again the sine of any angle equals the cosine of its complementary and the vice versa is correct if angle a and angle b are acute angles and the sine a equals the cosine b sine a equals cosine b then measure of angle a plus measure of angle b equals 90 degree complementary angles are called complementary angles if a and b are called the complementary angles then sine a equals cosine b sine a equals cosine b and tan of angle equal sine of angle over cosine of this angle or opposite over adjacent in the opposite figure triangle ABC is right angle the triangle AC AB equals 10 centimeter BC equals 8 centimeter calculate the value of sine A cosine B plus cosine A sine B at first what is given and what is required and how to write the proof to reach the required what is given triangle ABC is right angle the triangle at C measure of angle C at right angle the triangle then measure of angle A plus measure of angle B equals 90 degree angle A and angle B are called complementary angles measure of angle A plus measure of angle B equals 90 degree and we did use that sine A equals cosine B and the cosine A equals sine B from the remark at first find the length of AC find the length of AC by using Pythagoras theorem Proof. Since A, B, C is right angled triangle A, C, then A C square equals A B square minus B C square by Thugger's theorem A B square equals 100 minus B C square equal 64 then A C square equals ten squares minus eight square equals one hundred minus sixty four equals thirty six then A C equals six centimeters. Six centimeter. 
Calculate the value of sin A cosine B plus cosine A sin B. Measure of angle A plus measure of angle B equals 90 degree. Then sine A equals cosine B. Remark. Sin A equals what? Where is A? Yes. Hypotenuse equals 10. Opposite equals 8. Adjacent equals 6. Sin A equals opposite over hypotenuse. 8 over 10. Eight over ten times cosine B equals sine A. Eight over ten plus cosine A equals sine B. Cosine A equals what? Cosine A equals adjacent over hypotenuse. 6 over 10. 6 over 10 times 6 over 10 equals 64 over 100 plus 36 over 100 equals 100 over 100 equals 1. Do you understand? Okay, thank you for listening and have a nice day.